Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Today I will discuss with you chapter 4 which is building long term customer relationships We will spell out the different ways of winning customers encouraging loyalty and beating competitors This chapter consists of 7 parts which are building customer value satisfaction and loyalty maximizing customer lifetime value cultivating customer relationships, attracting and retaining customers, building loyalty, brand communities, and winbacks. First of all, what is customer perceived value? CPV Customer perceived value is the difference between the prospective customer evaluation of all the benefits and the costs of an offering and perceived alternative. Then, the determinants of uh, customer perceived value, we have total customer benefit and the total customer cost. In the total customer benefit, we have product benefit, services benefit, personal benefit, image benefit. In the other hand, the total customer cost consists of Monetary cost, time cost, energy cost, psychological cost. So, what are the steps in the customer value analysis? We need to identify major attributes and benefits that customers value, assess the qualitative importance of different attributes and benefits, also assess the company's and competitor's performance on the different customer value against rate importance, then examine ratings of specific segment, then we need also to monitor customer's value over the time. So we can say briefly customer loyalty means that keeping the customers for a long time no matter what even your prices are high or your quality is low. We need to know also what is value proposition and the value delivery system. The value proposition refers to the value a company's promises to deliver to customers should they choose to buy their product. It can be presented as a business or marketing statement that the company uses to summarize why customers should buy a product or use a services. And the value delivery system includes all the experiences the customer will have on the way to obtaining and using the offering. Okay, now total customer satisfaction. What is satisfaction? Uh, satisfaction means a person feeling a pleasure or disappointment that result from comparing a product or services perceived performance or outcome to expectations. So also we can say briefly satisfactions mean happy. So customer satisfactions is when the company product mirror or surpass your expectations. Okay, now let's move to monitoring satisfaction. What we mean by this? It means when many companies are systematically measuring how well they treat customers, identify the factors shaping satisfaction, and changing operation and making as a result. Last one is product and service quality. What is quality? So, quality is the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs. Finally, we have maximizing customer lifetime value, we have customer profitability analysis, and customer lifetime value CLV. First of all, most we need to know what is a profitable customer. A profitable customer, a person, household or company that over time yields a revenue stream exceeding by an acceptable amount the company's cost stream 
for attracting, selling, and serving that customer. And there are different methods to do the customer profitability analysis. And the aim of this analysis is to make this analysis profitability. You determine what customer, how much they pay you, how much money you make of them, you keep the top customer, you see what they want, you give them more, and you see the losing customer, you kick them out. And customer lifetime value, CLV, is the net person value of stream of future profits expected over the customer's lifetime purchases. Okay, now let's move to cultivating customer relationships. We have Customer Relationship Management, CRM, Personalizing Marketing, Permission Marketing, Customer Empowerment. So what is Customer Relationship Management? It is the process of carefully managing detailed information about individual customers and all customers touch point to maximizing loyalty. Attracting and retaining customers. We have reducing customer churn defection and managing the customer base. We can attract and retain customers by reduce customer churn defection. And to reduce customer, we need to define and measure retention rate and distinguish customer attrition causes then compare lost customer lifetime value to reducing defection rate. Also, we can attract and retain customer by managing the customer base. We reduce customer defection and we increase customer longevity, share of wallet and cost upselling, focus and high profit customers and determinate low profit customers building loyalty so to build loyalty we need to interact closely with customers and develop loyalty programs and create institutional ties then create value with brand communities and how to make a brand communities? By finding sense of connection to brand, share ritual stories and tradition that convey meaning, also share responsibility to the community members. After all that, some customers become inactive or drop. So the challenge is to reactive them through win-back strategy. So what is win-back strategy? Is exactly what it sounds like. We need to get back the dropped or inactive customers. It's often easier to retract ex-customers than to find new ones. So at the end, I would say uh, if we follow all this guideline, for sure we will build and have a long-term relationship with customers, uh, since we meet their expectation and make sure they reach it to their satisfaction point. Also, we maximize it, the customer lifetime value, how to attract the customers and build loyalty with them. Lastly, we have talked about uh, the win back strategy uh, and uh, how important keeping your customers and reattracting them if uh, they became inactive or dropped. Thank you so much. It's Yam Rahmani from Marketing Management Course.